Several people were hurt in a stabbing attack, as we reported. Moving on. With temperatures soaring in the national capital, Delhi is witnessing a rise in fire-related incidents. On Wednesday, Delhi Fire Department received over 180 fire-related calls, highest so far this year. In fact, if you just look at the numbers, they only seem to be increasing over the last few days as well. Fire-related incidents have claimed 55 lives and left over 300 people injured in the national capital alone this year. In Delhi, Saket, a gas pipeline outside a residential building caught fire. These visuals are up on your screen. The cause of fire is believed to be a technical issue. No one was injured and the situation was brought under control within 20 minutes. In Noida, fire broke out at an apartment after the split air conditioner exploded. Fortunately, no one was injured in this incident. In Punjab's Patiala, massive fire broke out at the flea market. And if we can just also show these visuals individually as well. Several fire tenders were rushed to the spot. Rising temperatures have put added pressure on power demand. Delhi's power demand on Wednesday was at an all-time high at 8,300 megawatts. To prevent the transformers from overheating, some workers were seen throwing water at them. And these are scenes that you have seen from several places. I'm being joined at this point by Dr. Deepak Monga, who's a fire safety and evacuation expert. Sir, thank you very much. Good evening. Thank you for joining us, sir. Sir, my first question to you, even as these visuals emerge of fire breaking out in several places across, particularly north of India, even in the national capital, whether it be at hospitals, whether it be at homes, whether at transformers, split ACs catching fire for that matter, to viewers who are watching us, what would be your big do's and don'ts? The first word of do's and don'ts is please uh, use the word something called as maintenance. Maintenance is something which is uh, very highly recommended in this country. But people buy, install things, but they don't uh, really uh, maintain the stuff. For, for example, this AC uh, duct or AC uh, thing just burst it out, the compressor. The AC compressor doesn't burst just like that. If it's not maintained, there's a gas leakage. The gas is of 32 bar. 32 ka jo gas atta hai, it is highly inflammable. People uh, put in local gas to save money. Hence, it is not uh, highly recommended. And then this such accidents happen and they have uh, curtains near their AC compressor. Then the fire just keeps on increasing for that part. First thing. Please ensure you, before the summers, maintain your wires. There should be no wire leakages. There should no be wire which is just tampering. There should be no gas which is not local. But put a branded gas in your uh, ACs. Second, please keep your ACs on 23. There's no AC to be done on 18 and 19. 18 and 19 per compressor, it will not have a cutoff. Cutoff means the fan will... Keep on going on and on and on and on if there's no cutoff. That's an important point. If there'll be no cooling. Hence, the AC lands up becoming overheat and then it has a burst. If you understand, if you see closely the ACs, the compressor has not bursted fully, but there has been a short circuit inside the flat. If someone sees it visually very closely, you see there's an AC compressor bursting. There is a very uh, small neat of a AC wire, copper wire, which has a leakage and that catches fire or short circuit and then the fire comes. So please maintain that wire. Second, it is exposed to the climate, so don't maintain that thing completely. Please cover it properly with insulation as we done. Second, transformers during summers definitely requires a cover on the top. Transformers cannot be kept open like that. It, it requires a cover on top to control the heat. And then when you have a gas pipeline, gas which is which is called bursted, again, it was an Incident of leakage. It has nothing to do with much heat. In Moradabad, if you see right now, they are putting water on this thing for what? To cool it off? To put the fire off? Or what will they, what, what will they do with the, the transformer? Please ensure one thing, maintain your equipment in the house. Second, keep an AC on 23, let it have a cutoff. 
please put the ACs off in a, in a matter of one hour. If it is done, it is kept for full day. It will get overheat. Your wires have to be done properly. It has to be a BIS approved but wire. But if you have to switch it off in installed. a matter of one hour, that's isn't that a bit much, sir? In this heat, you would be expecting to run it for at least few hours. One hour may just be too little. Switch off means uh, my my bad my uh, terminology. I meant to say it has a cut off. The AC needs to have a cut off timer. Timer hota hai. So right. This is cut off. Keep your AC at 23 years. See the fun. You will save save the electricity also. You will save yourself from heat also. The AC will be cooling also. There will be you no know, moisture in your house also for that reason. And it will be in a very, very good condition for at least 5 to 10 years. Easily. So I didn't mean to like, switch off the AC. I mean to say have an AC at 23 years. It has a cut off. People keep it 18. Thinking it will have a cut off. It doesn't have a cut off. Right. People don't maintain their uh, ACs in a, from our reputed agencies again. High-rise building may itni fire lag gay, and if you notice, it is more than 10 minutes for people just on fire like, like that. They don't have anything for evacuate. If they had a basic fire evacuation lift again over there, the extinguisher can reach on top within one minute, and this fire would have not, not been so big. It is as simple as that for us. The people who are living in the house doesn't have a extinguisher, right. so they very, very not important even down points. the fire. So please put the uh, right. extinguisher in your very house. Very important points, sir. Place. Sorry, come again. Right. Now, you spoke about the extinguishing factor at this point, but if at all there is a fire, what should one yes. do? Very quickly, it, what, is, what are the immediate actions that one must take if you have a fire in, in your vicinity, in your area, at your home? Simple. MSB is off your If there is no MSB, then it will be ECLB. It will be cut off your own. Immediately put, use a fire extinguisher on it. If not, fire extinguisher can be used to douse the fire. If not, go to your building, ka, door ke bahar, just outside the door, there is an extinguisher, use the extinguisher immediately. If not, if both the things doesn't work, and put the main switch off, then you can use the water on the fire, it will douse off immediately. If not, just take a wet blanket and put it on the fire, it will douse the fire wet blanket because it will cut off the oxygen. This is as simple as that to douse fire within the next few 15 seconds of that fire happens. This is a do's and do's for any house, anything, any places. Gas pipe, the ether, it is the easiest by simply covering it or throwing a wet blanket on it and it will stop the fire because gas will not get oxygen it will not get the fire smoke kills does the smoke which will really kills people a lot because of inhalation people should use wet napkin or wet cloth and cover their face while getting evacuation so it, it that the smoke doesn't go in their lungs because that patches can is fatal it can kill people inhaling of that kind of smoke right Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Moga, for joining us, for helping us through this. I'm sure these are extremely useful tips and reminders to our viewers. Thank you very much. We hope everyone stays safe.